Hey and welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. It's time to start firing up the grills and you can create a variety of dishes with herbs and vegetables from your own garden. Good Day's Joanne Feldman gets some ideas for a homegrown grilled feast. Well, now that spring is officially here, you might be anxious to get outdoors and take advantage of the beautiful weather. And one thing that is always a favorite thing to do as the weather warms up is get out and grill. But have you ever thought of some fun ways to grill from your garden? If not, Melody McDaniel has some great ways to do just that. Good morning, Melody. Good morning. All right, this already smells fantastic, and you've only got a couple things on the grill right now. I know, it's, it's great. So grilling from your garden is wonderful. I want to be outside all the time sure. this time of year. So when you can take what you've grown and harvested, grill it, it tastes so much better than store-bought. Mm -hmm. And you, you get to spend time outside. So we've got a mix here of summer squash and zucchini uh, mixed in balsamic vinegar and olive oil, just mm -hmm. very simply dressed um, and straight on the, gar uh, the grill until it gets charred. Mm -hmm. um, another one of my favorite things to do um, from the garden is to harvest some rosemary. Now if you look, this rosemary has very woody stems. You can remove the foliage and basically use that as a skewer. Oh. So you can spear that through your veggies, put them on the grill, and then you get that extra flavor and aroma from the rosemary. Okay, very clever. Yeah. All right, and if you don't want to put them directly on the grill, you can wrap them up in foil too, Absolutely. right? Make a little foil pack or even use a grill pan or a sheet pan. Either way is easy, right? It's so easy. <laughs> okay. So a couple of other things. I'll go ahead and show you actually the finished oh, product. Looks, looks delicious. Isn't it great? I love <laughs> the char and it just makes the, the flavor of the veggies come out mm -hmm. when you grill them. Um, another one of our favorite things, all summer we celebrate the tomato and basil that we have growing in the garden. Sure. And you can just harvest them over and over again. So here we've done a caprese salad a little differently. We've um, grilled some bread. So mm -hmm. we have bread on the bottom, the tomatoes, uh, mozzarella cheese, basil and balsamic vinegar. Just easy, but so fresh and flavorful mm -hmm. for the summer. And okay, dessert. Do you think of grilling? Not typically. Yeah, well, peaches grilled on a grill are so delicious. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you just put the peach on the grill, let it caramelize. Okay. That caramelization just makes it super sweet. Oh yeah. Here we've gone ahead and put it on some grilled pound cake, marscapone cheese, topped it off with mint <laughs> straight from the garden. I'm gonna eat that whole plate as soon as we're done here. Is that yeah, all right? That's, that's <laughs> Great, I'm gonna help you. <laughs> These are great ideas and a great way to take advantage of what you've grown. Absolutely. All right, thank you, Melody. Oh, definitely making me hungry too. Grilling in the garden is tomorrow at all Pike Nurseries. You can save 20% store wide. There'll be free hot dogs and soda from 11 to 1 while supplies last.